welcome to Flavorful Eats. Today we are discussing the humble butternut. We're talking about the humble butternut. I am your host, Hamsha Naidu. Joining me is Rama Putsa. Hello. The butternut came all the way from my garden, which is not even a mile away from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we cut it up this morning. So literally from the table to the stove into our tummy. Wonderful. Today. What can be better than that? So yeah. a, a butternut has lots of immense health value, you know, very high in potassium and vitamin A for the color, you know, you can mm -hmm. add to the color of rainbow and as you could tell all our different things. So we're doing some simple more from the region of Andhra Pradesh in India. Would you say that? Yes, I would say that. But over the years, this has become more um, throughout the nation what they call but then the name that we are going to use today is pulsu which simply means stew. stew right so that it's a very simple thing it can be eaten as simple soup mm -hmm. um, or it can be eaten with rice or quinoa or anything else All right today you're yeah. serving it with rice and quinoa mix correct yes with brown rice um, that basmati brown rice that it's adds flavor mm -hmm. and have very high in fiber and quinoa that has protein with this flavorful stew. Uh, we have pumpkin which is chopped into pieces this way. So originally it was like that yeah and, and then, then we cut it up like this yeah and if those that don't know what a butternut looks like inside that's the seeds that's the, the meat and this is a skin and one can eat the skin because it's got a lot of uh, nutrients and you tell me that you normally cut I that. normally cook with this yes so now we have today with all the skin peeled but that's okay so then yes and we just peel that off yeah. with a simple knife mm -hmm. and the, uh, the the seeds also can be used yes. the good thing about the butternut tree you could use just about anything you can the right. leaves you can cook a very nice dry curry right. or my mom was saying something called buyo in telugu uh -huh. that you can make a watery sort of thing mm -hmm. with some jeera and stuff cumin seeds and then you could um, use the leaves which you can make a dry green vegetable and if it's young enough you can actually maybe use it in your salad I'm not sure about that though, but I, I yes, haven't tried it. I have not salad. tried that, but, but I'm sure. Yeah. Definitely a green. And then we're going to get to the flesh, which is yes. going to work right so, now. So, yes. So hmm. now that we have the, uh, the pumpkin and it is chopped butternut. into uh, butternut, it's chopped into pieces this way. And uh, it's just a quick word again. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, this is one pound in weight. Right. Right. And, 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 and it so. came uh, from a butternut this size. Uh, like this so the whole butternut alone was maybe like four five six pounds okay. yeah okay. so just today we are going to use one pound of this one pound for one the pulso. pound for pulso so besides so we have the butternut pieces. then mm -hmm. oh, w then we have uh what goes into this is a thor boiled thor doll in english it's pigeon peas so in pulso we will use the cooked thor doll then we have uh, quite a range of spices here. We we'll start with a dry chili that just gives flavor. We'll use this as a whole without breaking it. And then we have um, these are um, what methi seeds, fenugreek, what, seeds. fenugreek seeds. And then we have a hing, and then we have a little bit of a, a wada dal, which is black gram, black gram. Split and then we have gram. mustard seeds. Then we have cumin seeds. We have turmeric. Then, of course, salt and chili powder. And then uh, to add additional flavor, we will be using uh, curry leaves. And then, some and then, and then when that is done, we will uh, put in chopped tomatoes and we will put in the, the pieces. And then after adding water, we add a little bit of tamarind paste. So, and then let it stew. Th that's about it. So, we'll just heat this and then we add a little bit of oil, uh, just a teaspoon of oil. Do you want to use the measure? Teaspoon, yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's it. Not, not a lot. And uh, put it here. And then we add this chili as a whole. As I said, this is not to add any uh, pep to it, but just a flavor. And then we add little methi seeds to it, which we say puny greg. And then we add cumin seeds. 
This is now a traditional cookie. Just cook with your eye. But I can see it's almost a teaspoon. A teaspoon, yeah. Two spoon yeah. each of each. And thing. a teaspoon of each. Yeah, I cook with my eye. That's true. And I just. There's no recipe, so a teaspoon <laughs> each of all uh, right. these and different then ingredients. Right, and a little bit of this. That's uh, uh, a half a teaspoon of that. Can yes. Mm -hmm. Just have some water. Mm -hmm. And then we add some hing to it. Again, it's about a half a teaspoon of it and then when this is this is for one pound of um, one pound of butter squash yeah you can add water so you immediately yeah. add water yeah add water to it that's two cups of water yeah and then add these pieces to it and then while that's going on, let's chop some tomatoes here. And you put because about uh, three big tomatoes, right? Uh, yeah, now maybe this is a big one. So mm -hmm. maybe add this and other one because... So two should, tomatoes, yeah, two big tomatoes. Two big tomatoes, yeah. We can also use chewed tomatoes, um, which also brings out the taste. Uh, can? Or canned, or the one you have find in a cotton. Oh, you they find are. It. But the, you get stewed tomatoes in a cotton too. And then we add salt to taste, and uh, about uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder for the time being. And I'll hold on to the chili powder until the end, and. Uh, we let this boil and when these are the pieces are soft and tender uh, we add dal to it so then i'm going to add fresh curry leaves and just to get the flavors out i'm going to kind of rip them a little bit it sounds harsh but <laughs> it is better. Yeah. And the other thing is, um, if you the finer you cut the curry leaves, you'll actually get to eat it because again, that's another powerhouse of yeah. good nutrition to yeah. have. Um, yes. So then, yeah. it's okay. not just harsh. You can use a scissors yeah. to cut it or use a knife. And to then, while I'm going to, so add you're going to be adding it almost immediately. The tamarind. Yes, tamarind. I'm going to because this has to boil with the okay the pieces. So I will, will use one teaspoon of it. Oops, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can manage, but you are you using a full teaspoon? One full teaspoon, okay. I use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, just. You want the lid? Yeah, the lid is there. Just, yeah. So just stir it so the tamarind is not sitting at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, so now this will take a little while to stew and uh, we do it on a lower flame, you know, in a, not in a high flame, mm -hmm. in low flame. So all these juices and all this, the flavors just get into the, the, the pieces, the butternut pieces. So while that is going on, um, we'll talk about the second okay, item. Our next dish. So you're using the, almost the same ingredients, correct? Same ingredients we'll use. Can you see? It's three. nice and high. Yeah. So I use three spoons. And start with... Again, all the seasonings again. Yeah, all the seasoning all over again. So I don't put it lower, a little okay. lower. Just while this is going on. And so start with urad dal here a little bit. Uh, that's another uh, spoon also, and then with cumin seeds, and then mustard. Whole teaspoon, I guess. Yeah, one teaspoon and hing. That's about half a teaspoon there. Yeah, about half a teaspoon. That'll do. And, and you don't need fenugreek here. No, no, no fenugreek. So here is just yeah. um, uh, cumin, mustard, urad, and hing. Correct. Correct. 
And, and you probably use some ginger here, yeah, right? This one you didn't use ginger? Uh, um, no, no ginger. And this we will add ginger a little bit later. Um, can I just put this as low, very mm -hmm. low? Yeah, so what we're right. waiting here is for the urad dal to uh, it turn a little. It has to turn golden brown, mm -hmm. and um, so on a low heat. Otherwise, uh, it will just burn very quickly. So while this is going on, I'm going to chop this chili, and I'm going to just split it in the middle, big. So it you don't bite into it by accident. <laughs> So we'll have it this way and then grate some ginger into it later. So we'll just probably grate that and keep an eye on that one while mm -hmm. that's going on. Okay, I think this is ready. It's ready. Oh. So, so I'm going to add the chili, chili ginger, ginger, and the curry leaves. So all this is just one nice powerhouse of good flavor that you're yeah. adding to. Just the the butternut itself on its own, it, it has some flavor, but not it has intense. A, kind of a sweetish flavor, yes. which is also very yes, pleasant. Yes. And. Uh, and again, the younger the butternut, I think the sweeter it is and the skin yeah. is a little, as the butternut gets older, the skin is a little bit yeah. more tough. And it's, but it's, you know, doable, feelable. Yeah, before this, we have uh, the soaked dal. This yes. is uh, chickpea. Uh, split chickpeas, split which chickpeas. Uh, we, we soaked overnight. And you're adding it in there and that adds more protein to this one too. So let this like uh, half a cup of water. About half a cup, just you know. Yes, half a cup and then of water. when that becomes a little tender, I'll add salt. They say when you add salt, the dal doesn't cook yes. fast. Yes, you add salt in the end. Don't add yeah, it in the beginning. Don't yes. add it up front. So, yes. but there's no harm in adding turmeric. So I'm going to add a, another spoon of turmeric mm -hmm. here, about small a teaspoon, teaspoon of it. Mm -hmm. And, and here again, we had one pound of butternut one chopped up. Of, yes. So we will let that cook a little bit, and then we'll see in the meantime what is happening to the stew. A stew. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, it's yes, it's just gorgeous. Just oh yeah, there. and the, you can can the flavors are coming out. You can smell it for uh, sure. <laughs> yes. Now we will add the cooked dal to this. So when you are boiling your dal at home, and yeah. if you find that it's not that pasty, that's okay. Even if it's got a little more liquid than that, that's fine. That's fine. Usually it does cook very well when you put it in a pressure cooker. Right. You, it doesn't have to be in a pressure cooker, really. Yes. It, it I, cooks you can well, boil yeah. slowly in this. In thing. that, yeah. As long as you don't add salt. If so, you want that to, mm -hmm. yeah, if you want your dal to boil here again, then you don't add salt up front until this is cooked fully. And then here you've put about half a cup of dry uh, pigeon peas. And you, how much of water you might have put? About two cups maybe, three cups? Because it's uh, dry, so it absorbs yes, a lot yes, of liquid. Yes, it does. It does. About, about three cups, yeah. Yeah, for instance, this little yeah. bit here, which was a quarter cup of uh, split, chana, split chana, we used one cup of water after soaking it. Yeah. Yes. So you can add water as and when you go. So let us see. So I'm going to let this... Uh, simmer a little bit more. I'm going to add a little chili powder. I don't know. It depends. And some palates take more chilies. And That's about half a teaspoon you just added. Yeah. Right there. And we Andras tend to take more chilies. So, but just for the sake of this session, I'm going to add very little chili That is powder. very little. For you, that is way too little of chili way powder. Way too little yes. for us. Yes. And so I'm going to let this simmer a little bit more and then leave it aside. So, yeah. so we we'll come back to this kura, which is vegetable now. And if you recall, then we soak these, um, split, these chickpeas. Are split chickpeas overnight. And then I'm cooking it now. 
So, let us see whether it is cooked. Just touch one of these and then see. Between your thumb and your forefinger. Yeah. Yes. See, it's given see, away. It is, yeah. It is so it, it is so it is the right consistency right now. So to this now I'm going to add a little bit of tamarind paste. Another teaspoon or half? about yeah, three quarter maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah three <laughs> quarter. And now I'm going to add the butternut pieces butternut into pieces. it. Again, this, this was again one pound. Yeah. Salt to this. Salt to taste, I would say. Yeah. And add some water and then I'm going to close okay. this. Depending on the uh, butternut, sometimes I don't even need to add water. I just cook it on low and it cooks in its yeah, own juices. Yeah, it cooks. Now, since we have, uh, uh, since we have the, the split uh, chana, yes. so that will need more mm -hmm. water. That's true. So, I'll leave it at a low. To get to our next dish, we are... We have our stove on and to this one we're doing a sweet with it we've grated the butternut so today's session is basically steamed or boiled or stovetop cooked butternut so we're using a grated butternut again mm -hmm. another pound and you want to say the other ingredients you have there yes so what we do is we have ghee which is clarified butter mm -hmm. and not salted and uh, yeah. so we use that and then we kind of stir fry this a little bit into that and then let it cook at a very low flame. And then, uh, then we have nuts, cashew nuts, we can add other nuts too if you like, um, like chopped almonds are good or we can use walnuts as well. Then we have raisins here and then we have cardamom powder and we have saffron and sugar and milk and then we are just going to put a little bit of grated coconut on top of it when that to is garnish cooked. yeah to garnish it so in uh, order to save some time i guess we'll do the um, nuts and the raisins first and the ghee and then the, uh, then the yes then the yes so we use a little ghee and then we will kind of fry the raisins and the nuts and then we'll put it aside and then we go to the butternut so here I'm going to add one spoon of ghee. We use about quarter cup of uh, cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. And then we are adding some raisins two, here. About two tablespoons. We normally would use a golden raisin, which is more uh, brown or yellow. Right. Yeah. But this is what they we had. Good. Yeah. This is, this is what we <laughs> had at home, so we just made use of it. Yeah, this looks good too. Black is good. <laughs> now you see, see, this is almost all brown, and I'm going to remove this. Don't want this to get much darker. So, I'm going to remove this and put it back into this. And there we still have this one simmering. Yeah. Yeah, that will simmer. Mm -hmm. And then when just... This is basically done now. It is basically done. The more it simmers, the more better it tastes. Case. Yeah. Uh, we add some more ghee. ghee here. A tablespoon? Yes. Or more? A little bit more. That, but that's enough. That's enough. And I'm going to add the pound of grated butternut. Um, yes. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> So you just stir frying it until a little bit of the raw smell goes away. Yes, just a little bit and then we add milk to it. Mm -hmm. So here, yeah, now we, this is getting a little tender here with this ghee. Now it's time to add milk to it and I'm going to add milk. And that's about two cups of milk again. Two cups, yeah. You want a little bit more? No, I think that should do. And uh, so we'll let this but not cook in this milk. Mm. Yes, because it's also it. got its own liquid that will come up. Right, right. So it, it takes a little while. 
So we will leave that and I am going to, but I do not want uh, to put it on high because uh, the, bottom can, the yes. bottom can burn. So if you pre-boil your milk already, it actually will go quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to also add, while that is going on, saffron so that the flavors kind of well, one does not have to add that thing. much, you just needed a pinch, but yeah, it, it tastes good. I love saffron. <laughs> it, it is good, yeah. And saffron will help you eat less. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and a little, not all this, I am just going to use a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of I think that is more like a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it is less than that, yeah. So, so we let this go. That is right. So you are making chapatis there mm -hmm. while that is going on. I am just putting a finishing touch on this. And a little bit of a coconut and then I am going to add a little bit of a cilantro on this. And that this is, this is done actually. So this vegetable is done, then let us see now what is going on with pulsu here. So this is all done too and I am going to add a little cilantro. I usually love a lot of cilantro. Yes, we have yes. a whole bunch for you to use for just the yeah. two vegetables. So you are welcome to it. Yep. There it is and then in the meantime that is also up. boiling. Yeah, that is boiling. So, I am just going to put a lid on this so the flavors are trapped. So, we have this all completed. I am going to add sugar. So, this is one cup, but Rama said she will not have. I am going to use half a cup, half of this should do. Yeah. yeah. So, half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to let this again a little bit longer in a very low flame. So I think this is also paisam is also done. I can mm -hmm. shut this off, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add. the cashew nuts. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's all done. That's it. Enjoy Amama's food today. Thank you for joining us, Ani. She's just come from school and is happy to join us. So, Rama, you've uh, made our pulusu, our kura, and our payasam. Yes, and then we have some quinoa to eat pulusu with, or as soup here, as we show. Right. And then also we can use kura. We can eat with that. You know, take a piece mm -hmm. and pick, or you can you use it like to a burrito. Been eating? Yeah. You want to try this? Shall I give you? Yeah, good. Anish is ready to so you taste. Make a piece and you just you have to tell me how okay. it is, okay? No, you have to bite it. There you go, good boy. How is it? Good. Good. Yes. Good. Uh, mama's food is always yeah. good. Good for So this Anish. could be served like this. Or if you wanted to, you can put the rice on the uh, or the quinoa in this case quinoa. on the plate. Yeah, we can and then add the, the pulusu in that or like you said you could have that just have a stew. Just a soup, yeah. Stew. Okay, let, let's see if Anish, you like to try this? Okay, a little he bit. He says okay? Yes. Yeah. A little bit? A little bit? Yes, a little bit. That's more than yeah. enough. Thank you, Amama. It sounds like it's cold already. Yeah. So before we start all of eating, you normally would tell a prayer. Yeah. 
So you want to say that prayer before you put it in his mouth? Okay. So do you want to pray, Anish? Yes, Anish. Brahmarpanam brahmahavet brahmangau brahmananutam brahmai vateva gantavyam brahmakarma samadhina aham vaisvanaro bhutva praninam deham asritaha prana pana samayuktaha pacham yanyam chaturvidham Om Shanti 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 Well, this, uh, this is grace which technically means uh, the divine says that I am the eater, I am the eaten, I am the one, I am the food itself. And the food that is being eaten is being broken up and then is distributed as a nutrition in the body. So basically, we remember that before we uh, take in some nutrition. So that's the meaning of the prayer. So thank you so much. You're Rama. welcome. Yes, we eat mindfully and we prayed for it. So we sanctified it before we eating. So whether you say it in English or Sanskrit or whatever language it is, we're always grateful for the bounty that we receive. We are, yes. And thank Just you. Just can imagine how much we really have all around us you know, just uh, just from your garden, all this has come mm -hmm. up. You know, yes. you can imagine. Yeah. And we thank uh, our ancestors for showing us all this. This all goes this thousands support. of years of tradition. You think yes. that how nutritious they are. They feed yes. everything. Yes. And uh, again, we pass it on to the next generation. And thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you come over here. And thank I guess Ramaputra, Anish Ponadari, and I'm your host, Hamsha Naidu.